Heavyweight Showdown. of boxing ability and technique. Few guys have been able to hold up when it comes to this guy's boxing acumen. He'll be trying to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And what really has helped him is his ability to defend takedowns. It discourages his opponents from shooting on him. Right. So then they are forced to stand in the boxing range. No one manages distance better. No one understands getting in range and then out of range better than this guy. And the moment you're stuck there, you are a lame duck. He is going to find him. He's a sniper. The jab always lifts the chin. The right hand follows. And if you are able to withstand that, you got to watch for everything coming after it. And I love watching him land that beautiful left body shot as he ends a lot of his combinations. Yeah, we talk so much about his offense, but his defense as a boxer, right? The head's never on the center line. It's almost like his head's detached from his body. Truly a sight to behold. We'll see if he can put forth another shining performance here tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Bo Crusher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Dynamite! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room? Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is not fight. Truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Oh, really using this reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Down defensively, blocks the shot. All the Those punches to the body are really starting to take a toll. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Nice punch land. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Got the single collar tie. Left hand punch from the clip. Rock him, shock him out of the shoot here. 
All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Ooh, blocks the shot. A oh, little single collar tie there. Try to establish that jab. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, beautiful strike attempt there as he lands the hook. Beautiful hook. Really did a great job of keeping his back hand on his chin, throwing that hook and putting it exactly where he needs to go. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Just misses there with the left. Single collar tie now. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Ooh. Superman punch lands. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and try to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Nice punch there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. This is his game. He likes to control his opponent's posture with that collar tie and land those nice elbows around the guard. He loaded up on that right hand, too. All right, well, his hooks have been a big storyline in this one, and there it is again. So just when you thought maybe the opponent had made the requisite adjustments, he gets cracked again. He gets cracked again, and it does not take many of those hooks to end your night. What a punch. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Big power shot there. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. He's back to the position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch. Punch to the head of the clip. And he connects there. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Right on the button. Continuing to go to the head. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, stop. All right, there's the horn. And what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed, this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my tune. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after a gun to blaze them. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the team. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, that'll get his attention. Nice counter on the uppercut. 
Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Oh, beautiful counter with the punch there and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in match. That punch to the body does a lot of damage. Just missed with that right hand. Strong defense there to block the shot. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is the jab. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very good. Big punch from the Twins. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. He closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. And both guys really flowing with authority. The left punch is true, now the right hand. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? I can't hear what I can't see. All right, he engages in a single poly tie here. So next with a right. Again, back into this position. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Seems to have timed that counter pretty well. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, big punch land. Nice combination of elbows, and as a lot of fighters will say, there's no pad on the elbow. There's no pad on the elbow, and it cuts people. The more you elbow, the more you're gonna see guys get cuts. That's why everybody that fights Tony Ferguson just are dripping blood at the end of the fight. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Spinning back fist. Punch over the top. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. They continue to exchange. Whiffs on the straight right hand. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be and threw it with ill intent. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. That punch, no good. Oh, that is an uppercut from hell. Beautiful job by him there. I mean, he threw that thing from his hip, and he landed with all the force that he could muster. I'm surprised he didn't knock him out with that punch. Good punch. It's the elbow there. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, single collar tie here. Ten minutes in the books. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Okay, okay. Our takedowns are not working now.
All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good, good previous two rounds, great. I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. But still, right on the start. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Right. All right, single collar tie now. Lands the right hand. Attacking the body now, that shot blocked. And they separate. And he landed the right hand there. Nice jab, falls it up with a nice right hand. Slips the punch. Lands with the left. Oh, huge block! Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Misses with that punch. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Back and forth we go here! All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but it doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. And now he's got that tight. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. That is when you have to be throwing more kicks. That's the only way to catch someone that you're actually having to chase the whole time. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that the boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Both fighters throwing heat now. Spinning back fist. Oh, collar tie. That big punch lands through the middle. That one certainly found the target. Ooh, another shot to the head. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. How good is that right hand? Single collar tie. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Oh, nice. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there. It might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center line. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Straight punch lands. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50, because nobody has the advantage 
who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage. Well, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Ooh, what a punch. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Nice straight punch. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, big left hand there. Shot clip with the right hand. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Nice. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Right hand punch from the clinch. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Now connects with the right. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on a fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better. To go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired, nothing feels better. A little single collar tie there. Back and forth we go! Well, eventually you know he's gonna turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Counters with the left hook. Nicely done there. Ooh, big shot lands. Under two minutes to go in the round. One, two punches, true. Good defense to block the strike coming down. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Well, a case of pick your poison here. If you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up upstairs. He is in some serious trouble now. Oh, that's a nice strike. Single collar tie now. Boy, tie plump. And they separate. Oh, Superman punch. Straight punch there, lands on the counter. Nice job using his reach advantage there. Punch to the body is blocked. Right hand punch to the Big shots being landed on both sides here. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active. Keep it busy, doing great work. Nice strike. Right. 
counters once again, this time with the overhand right. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, he hurt him with the jab. Let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there, throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not great. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get to have fighters that are so evenly matched. Good stick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. That one's not good. It's a nice strike. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Just missing on the counter there. Immediately gets the underhook. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Great punch. There was a lead elbow, so he's mixing everything up. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination of top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. He's driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then lands with beautiful punches. Really got his opponent on notice here. Under three minutes now to go round five. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can do it on the stage and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Ooh, what a punch. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Storrs. Left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a fist and back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. Right punches there. Oh, single collar tie here. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. That's a big strike right there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, nice shuffle cut there. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, single collar tie now. His opponent got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Another one. Yep. Up oh, and the left hand. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Oh, 
Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws the punches. Just out of range with that right hand. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch to the clinch. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Good punch, land. Oh, collar tie. Big power shot there. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances. A lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual fan. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. Look, all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight. Largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. For the winner by unanimous decision, Dynamite! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to beat the dance. He did that start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.